Good morning guys, it's 11.15 a.m. I wanted to leave at 10.30 a.m. But here we are. I'm meeting my friend at 1 p.m. for lunch. Today, it's gonna be kind of a simple day. I wanted to come out earlier to do some, what do you call that? Piper laps, time laps. I think the weather looks pretty fine. I'm wearing my new shirt. <laughs> one piece, one piece. Gonna go down to Akihabara first. See whether if I can do some moving time lapse over there before heading down to a restaurant to meet my friend. The restaurant some of you might be familiar because it was trending in Facebook. Uh, not gonna say it now, so don't spoil the surprise. But let's go. I'm at Akihabara now. I want to do the moving time lapse, but as you can see, there's a lot of people. Pavements are not that nice to do your moving time lapse because all you can see is just people. So, alternatively, is I do on roads like this, but these roads are not closed, so every now and then there are like you know cars moving. It's a bit hard to find a so called vintage point because to do a moving time lapse, you want to kind of like keep the frame still to a certain point. It's pretty hard to do it without certain markings or line to follow. I guess I need to find another way. Probably wouldn't do my time lapse here anymore. Ah. I came to check this sign. I saw you. Yo, <laughs> hey dude, you never take out your this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> so I've met up with Lydia. Lydia Ooh. say hi. Yo yo. Yo yo. <laughs> That's the coolest intro you can have. <laughs> We're looking for this place called La, La, La Mere Pul Pulard that sells a fluffy omelette. I'm damn hungry now. We're looking for the place. Located in Tokyo International Forum. This is the, is this whole place, right? Because not so good. <laughs> I mean, it's good in a like this is these eggs are nice kind of way, but they're just eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks really nice, like it bounces and shit, but it, it foams more than it bounced. It foams more than it bounced. <laughs> yeah. So the front layer is actually a layer of foam. Oh my God, why am I so bright? It's just egg foam. Yeah. So like. When you when you pick it up, you also don't know what you're supposed to do with no, it. I think that's the point of it, la, right? Because it's supposed to be not to flame a little bit. That is like. Oh yeah, you're right. It's yeah. supposed to be souffle. Uh, I mean, it's like how much is it about? It's about twenty dollars. Yeah, about twenty twenty plus dollars for each. Yeah. Uh, I think they probably use like two three eggs. I think more than that. Yeah, four eggs for each uh, no. each dish. I think can try lah. I mean, it looks nice. It's bouncy. Your Instagram looks very chill lah. But so so there. I think there are like better food out there in Japan. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it's French food, and the restaurant is like Le Mer Pula. Le Mer is actually grandmother in French. Really? Yeah. So it's basically you come here and pay to twenty dollars to eat like French grandmother's food. Grandmother's <laughs> omelet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Visit at your own risk. It looks better than it, it tastes. Yeah. yeah. The egg tastes pretty normal. There's not much seasoning. It's, yeah. it's just like a bit of salt. Yeah. And yeah. So, huh? Meh. 
Meh. Meh. Okay. Bye bye. Enjoy yourself. Bye bye. So, we spent about close to one and a half hours with Lydia. Now I'm heading out to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building where there's a free observatory. Uh, usually, people go to the what, Tokyo Sky Tree or like Tokyo Sky Tower or whatever, which you need to pay money. Well, the government building is free. So, I don't know, it'll be too crowded. I think I'll reach there in time at around 5. towards the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Office where they have two observatories so one of them is the south and one of them is the north I just read up that the north one might be closed today because they are closed on every second and fourth Monday of the month the place they're walking in right now is a underground connector hopefully it's not crowded it's a Monday surprisingly a lot of museums a lot of places are closed on Mondays especially uh, touristy stuff maybe because they are working on the weekend so usually Monday they take off law. I remember that I went to the observatory in Hokkaido, Sapporo so that was one of my favourite experiences hopefully this place don't disappoint me South Observatory. This place closes at 5.30. It's at 5.10 now. They don't allow me to use my monopod, so I can't do my moving time lapse here. Can't stay here longer. I can't see the sunset here because they're gonna close. Let me now head down to the North Observatory and see how's the view like. So I'm at the North Observatory. Uh, apparently today is not closed. I thought it was supposed to be closed. It's almost the same place. There's a bar here that opens at that opens at around 5.30 cover charge of 500 yen that's like about six dollars still about more than an hour about an hour and a half before sunsets. I have a lot of time to queue I think I'll just sit around and wait for time to pass Hi so I've left the observatory. I'm actually on the way back now. I'm at Ueno already. Actually feeling a bit down, a bit sian. Because the realization that, you know, I'm not able to produce the kind of visuals and content that I was expecting myself to do so. Like I couldn't do any of the moving time lapse that I wanted to. And when I was doing the sunset time lapse, I was feeling a bit sian also because just like I was damn bored. View wasn't that fantastic either. Anyway, I'm just gonna head back, take a break. I think the problem is that I was worrying too much about how the video would turn out such that I end up, you know, not really enjoying myself. <laughs> I'm just worrying how the video will be. And I keep forgetting that this is a holiday. You know, this is not a, a PR production thing. It's a holiday and this whole video thing is always a, it's just a side thing that I was planning to do. I need to keep that in mind. I think I tend to forget that every now and then because like so caught up in you know getting the right visuals for the video. The priority is I'm here, I'm here to have fun and not like capturing one more nice time lapse or nice shot of the place will make you guys feel any better or make me feel any better. I should start focusing on myself, stop worrying about how the video turn out. That's the problem when you know you start bringing your camera gear out and start thinking of you know making uh, daily vlogs and I realized that actually sometimes the daily vlogs you don't really need so much cinematic you know visuals sometimes the people that you guys you, all, you guys want to see is just me talking rubbish to the camera <laughs> I, I hope so <laughs> not worrying on whether it's boring or whether there's structure like, you know what I'll just anyhow edit just put it together and if you guys enjoy it then so be luck so get dinner have a good early rest today Tomorrow morning, I'm waking up early to meet another friend and we are visiting a few places, so 
that's all for tonight. We'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have you ever been uh, so caught up in a trip that you become emo? <laughs> I was a bit emo at that part of the trip because you you soon find out a bit more why why I'm feeling this way. You know, it's, it's a bit weird because I'm supposed to be like showing you guys how happy or how much fun I'm having, and yet at the end of this video, I'm like talking about how emo I am. <laughs> yep. So that's all for this week. If you like what you're watching, uh, please subscribe, like. You know, drop me a comment and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Hey, dude, you never take out your this thing! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>